Hello everyone. Today, let's look at a credit market that is not enjoying the same positive trends than other credit market, Chinese high yield. So let's start with two figures. Global emerging high yield markets are up one and a half percent this year. Chinese high yield market is down 5.7 percent this year, which is quite a difference. So what's the source of that difference? Is it a problem related to the Chinese market as a whole or is it something more specific? With such a difference, it's hard to imagine that just one company could have such an impact. But actually, that's the case. Chinese property developer Evergrande continues to sink. And with its size, in January it was 7.6% of the index, and with the fall of more than 60% in the price of its bonds, it explains most of the decline uh, of the index. The difficulties of Evergrande are not new, and since last year's there's been ups and downs. But lately, it's only about downs and liquidity risk is rising despite the effort of the company. We remember that in June, stress rose. An affiliate of the group missed payment. The regulator led an investigation and authorities requested creditors to conduct stress tests about their exposures. And this led to an inversion of Evergrande's credit curve, which is a sign of high stress within the market. So since then, the situation has worsened. And for example, the yield on the dollar 2025 bond almost tripled from 19% to 54% currently. Despite asset disposals or aggressive apartment price reduction campaigns, results published on August the 31st confirm the worsening of the liquidity situation. And no need to mention dramatic effect on the profitability. But this is, of course, not the time to promote profitability, but it's to save the group from defaulting. A word that Evergrande dropped during the publication of its half-year results. They said, if asset sales and the new arrival of new investors do not progress and do not reach the government's expectations, a default could occur. This transparency is surprising and probably echoes the public rebuke issued by the regulator, which requires, among other things, that Evergrande does not disseminate false information. The honesty was not really appreciated by the bond markets and the price of the 2025 bond fell 6% over the session. So where are we now? Some construction sites are stopped due to on-pay invoices. The group continues to sell assets and is looking for new investors in order to avoid default. So clock is ticking. And beyond the case of Evergrande, the absence of contagion at this stage to the Chinese high yield deserve to be noted. If the Chinese high yield is suffering on the top line, it is mainly because of one of its members that is in trouble and the future will tell us if this was a vital member or not. Thank you.